Okay, now we're starting the tutorial on how to use the side loaded uh, installations. First of all, we will need the client, and for this purpose, we are going to download it from the website. The website address is sideloaded.wordpress.com. We will choose the APK client for Blackman the air download. Here it goes to my Dropbox account and we're downloading the app from there. Okay, I've got some downloads of it already, so I'm saving it. It's done. Now I'm going to install the app. I'm clicking it and press install press accept for now we don't need to open it we're going to settings so here are my settings uh, we need to enable the development mode for this purpose we are going to select the menu item security and privacy and development mode it's not on here so we are going to switch it on here you enter your password if you have one if you don't have one you need to set to set it so my password is one q a z to keep things simple Okay, development mode is on and now we're back after this we need to go to the VPN settings and add the VPN profile for the, the service to use it we press add VPN profile we name it side load it for the server address we use us dot bbm dot in dot ua the gateway type is generic ike version 2 for i authentication type we use pre-shared key authentication and we keep it psk for authentication id type we choose ip version 4 the pre-shared key is let's make it visible side load it the gateway type authentication type is pre-shared key as well we keep it that way gateway authentication id type is ipv4 gateway pre-shared key is again let's make it visible again side load it all the rest it should be kept the same way it is here so we press save and now we get connected to the VPN profile so now it's connected and let us see the what we need for, for configuring of the client uh, we press the dots here uh, in the right bottom corner and we choose view status details what we need is pr private IPs you see he it here in the middle of the screen it's one two point six eight point six nine point one zero three otherwise we can uh, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and see its private address this is the VPN uh, the address that we've got uh, while connected to the VPN further we will need it for the client app and now we we will open the client app and configure it and show and see how to use it actually so here it goes we press settings here for the server address here it is completely wrong and we will use the server address as 192.168.69.100 the device IP address is uh, 
set automatically it is retrieved from your uh, VPN connection settings generally if it is not uh, and if it does not comply with the address that you have seen previously in the VPN status dialog box uh, you put that address here manually and the third field is development mode password you remember my password is 1QAZ and now we press save after that we will retrieve the list of the files that are available on server for download it, it's uh, the list is retrieved when pressing bars on server button here from the drop down menu we select any app we choose okay I've got the snap app already installed in my system so I choose just another one another option which is simple browser that bar actually this is the test file that is supplied with the server itself with the core of the server which is uh, playbook tools and after that we need to press side load it and wait for 20 seconds or 15 seconds or something like that just waiting if everything was done correct you will see the message that you see here installing the app result success which speaks for itself now we'll just browse through my screens and see that the simple browser app is installed here Okay, it does not really work here because it, I suppose it was written with Adobe Air which is not supported by uh, BlackBerry OS 10.3 so I just deleted this was simply to show you that things are really working thank you for watching and I hope that you will not have any problems while using this service in case you do have some please address me with any questions concerning this service through BBM or through YouTube or you may use uh, the Crackberry support ad. Thank you.